Remember the last time you went to the doctor or the pharmacy for a headache, back pain, chest pain? The doctor prescribes you a medicine, or you pick it up over the counter. You take it, and within a short time, the issue is resolved. But then come the side effects, like nausea, drowsiness, irritability, or worse. In many cases, this is due to chirality. Chirality is just like your right and left hand. Two molecules have exactly the same chemical composition, like you have the same five fingers on each hand, but they're arranged differently. The molecules, like your hands, are mirror images of each other, and they are not superimposable. So if you put one on top of the other, no matter how much you rotate it, they will never line up. More than half of the common medicines we take have this property. Doctors first discovered how much chirality really mattered in medicine when treating morning sickness in pregnant women with a mix of R and S, or left and right hand thalidomide. Unfortunately, only one hand was effective as the medicine, while the other caused some pretty serious birth defects in thousands of children. So the question is, how can we separate each hand from the other? Current techniques are expensive and time-consuming, so that many medicines are actually left in their mixed form. Instead, an affordable, earth-abundant material like silicon can be sliced to obtain a chiral surface. In bulk, silicon is not chiral, but along the 643 surface, the atoms are arranged in a left and right-hand form. This chiral surface can be tuned using simple techniques like electrodeposition to grow different materials which each medicine will be most active on. The chiral surface will interact with molecules in different medicines to sense or separate each hand from the other. Using these inexpensive techniques, chiral surfaces can reduce the cost and side effects of medicine, and material science and engineering makes it possible.